everyone, it's Amy here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, go ahead and click the subscribe button that's going to be popping up. That way you can stay tuned with all my upcoming videos. But today is going to be a comparison. I almost did a low to leave it. I almost did a dupe or dud, but then I was like, they're not exactly the same. So I thought I would just do a comparison video between the e.l.f. Cosmetics Tone Correcting Powder, which I purchased recently. And then I also just got from Ulta recently the Laura Geller filter finish baked radiant setting powder because I originally thought this would be an exact dupe for this elf product I got it started playing around with it and it's it's not an exact dupe but I wanted to give you a comparison so I'll start off first with the elf tone correcting powder this is what it looks like you can purchase this on elf.com I also purchased mine at Target so I actually purchased mine at Target for $2.99 and this is supposed to balance out all of your skin tone it's supposed to absorb any excess oils it's a really great setting powder. So I've been using this all week and absolutely loving it. I love the finish it gives. And then I've been using it with my Morphe E3 brush. I just kind of swirl it all around there and then I put it anywhere I would get um, oily or where I need to be setting my concealer or anything like that. And I've also been using this to just kind of touch up during the day and I have really, really, really been loving this. So when I bought this, I was like $2.99, this has to be a dupe for something, like something more expensive, you know, has to be very similar to this. So when I was shopping around on the Ulta website, I had found this new Laura Geller Filtering Finish Setting Powder, and so it looks like this, and you'll see why I thought maybe it would be a dupe. It looks just like this. It has kind of the same colors going on, you know, the orange, the yellow, the green, and the purple. So this is what it looks like. It kind of just looks like, kind of like Earth, but in correcting colors. So this is supposed to be the universal shade. So I had gotten this because I was like, this has to be a dupe. Well, I originally had gotten this, and then I was like, the e.l.f. has to be a dupe for this. And then I started playing around with them more, and they are not alike whatsoever. So, let me read the back of this first, because I didn't really read the description when I purchased this. But it says, as addictive as, you, as your favorite photo filter, this sheer silky powder creates soft focus perfection and will quickly become your new beauty bestie. Droplets of pure pigments blur flaws, balance your skin tone, and illuminate your face with a warm, natural glow. Swirl it on liberally over your makeup. There's no such thing as too much for the perfect finish. So, I didn't realize that it actually has shimmer in it, and you don't, it's so finely milled, like you can barely, barely see it when you're actually looking at it. But let me swatch it for you, because once I swatched it, I was like, whoa, this is not the same. So this is what it looks like. It almost looks like a highlighter at first. So I was playing around with it and swatching, and I was like, um, I don't want sparkles all over my face as a setting powder. Like, I, ju I just don't need to glow all over. So I was like, I don't know if this is going to work. But don't let this fool you. I actually applied it because I was kind of scared about the sparkles. Applied it with my big Duo Fiber F50 brush from Sigma. So I love using this on any kind of products that I want. Just a really diffused look. So I applied it generously, you know, all over. And I'm wearing it today. And I think it looks amazing um it doesn't come off with any sparkles whatsoever on your skin so i think it's kind of weird that when you swatch it it looks like a highlighter so i mean you could definitely wear it as a highlighter if you wanted i wanted it for correcting and blurring and making everything look flawless so when i put it on i was like this doesn't look sparkly this looks amazing i think it very very subtly gives you like a luminous glow obviously i have blush on right here but like the rest of my face i think looks really nice and i really like the finish of this so i was pleasantly surprised i was shocked and kind of scared at first and then i was pleasantly surprised of the results so i don't think this elf product is an exact dupe for this just because this does have some shimmer in it i didn't realize it was for like a radiant glow whereas this is very matte and just going to be correcting so i do actually really really love both products just for different reasons. So in comparison, I think the Laura Geller product is really great to use all over the face to give you just a flawless blurred look. And then I think it's really nice to go in with the e.l.f. product and then really cover up any areas where you have like imperfection. So like down here I have some hyperpigmentation and I also have some acne going on at the moment. Like thanks Miss Flo for the visit. But this is what I would then use to really correct those specific spots. I mean don't get me wrong, there's days when I just use this completely by itself. But I think they're both really nice. I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. So if I haven't mentioned it yet, this Laura Geller setting powder is 
$32 at Ulta. I believe you can also buy it at like Nordstrom and things like that. I'm sure you can buy it on her website. So I definitely wanted to come on camera and give you a comparison of the two because when I bought this, I was thinking this was going to be an exact dupe for this Laura Geller one. And it's totally not. So I just wanted to do a comparison of the two since they're supposed to be both setting and correcting powders. I'm both... I'm impressed with both products, really like them. Again, like I said, I like to use them for different purposes. I think this is a really cool product and this is super duper cheap. I mean, this is an excellent, excellent product. If you're literally just wanting to overall balance out your face and have a flawless look for $2.99, it does not get any better than this. However, I think this Laura Geller setting powder from Ulta is absolutely gorgeous as well. And I almost thought I was gonna return it because I was like, well, I've got this one, I $2.99, I don't need a 30 something dollar powder. But then when I combined the two, I just love the flawless look it gave. So don't be shocked by the kind of finish of it at first when you see this. Um, I think it's excellent and it's beautiful on the face. Both apply beautifully, they're long wearing, and I just really like the combination of both of these. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on this little comparison and review of both these products. And if you did, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can stay tuned to all my upcoming videos and I will see you guys soon. Bye guys!